Right. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to be talking about how to get older DOS programs to run on your new computer, be it a Windows computer, a Linux box, or OS X. So this tutorial can kind of be useful if you want to run like an older game or something, say you found like Duke Nukem as you're digging through your closet, uh, you got the CD with you and you want to get it running, but when you, when you pop it in your computer, it doesn't work, uh, we're going to have a fix for that. In my case, um, I downloaded Turbo Pascal, it's, it's an older programming language and the IDE that goes along with it. And when I tried to install it on my machine, surprise, surprise, it didn't work. So uh, I needed a workaround. Um, I needed this goodness right here to work on my machine. Um, anyway, so this is going to kind of be about how I did that. Um, you're going to want to start off. The first program you need is called DOSBox, actually the only program you need. Um, it's just going to emulate the DOS operating system, or the disk operating system. It's the Microsoft's precursor to Windows. I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, Anyways, uh, it's all command line, and yeah, you, you look at the Wikipedia page if you want to know more about DOS, but I think you probably all kind of know what the gist of it is. Anyways, uh, just go here, uh, go to the downloads page, and you'll be greeted with this. I'll put this link down below if you want to click on it. Um, just pick your operating system, and it should be installed. The install should be pretty easy. Windows, especially, is just an installer, so you know, click next, and eventually you'll have it installed. So uh, once you run it, uh, I'll just open it again for you. No trickery here. Uh, once you run it, it's gonna look like this. Um, it's just, you know, this is all it's gonna do. It's just gonna keep blinking at you till you do something. Uh, if you need a little bit of help, you can type help or intro. Um, and you'll see if we type, um, let me backtrack. Uh, basically, we need to um, get these files right here. This is the file that um, has the install uh, application in it. And I need to get this file mounted here uh, as a drive. So. Um, if we go back over here, I can type intro, and you'll see at the top uh, it tells you how to mount drives. Um, uh, you can type intro mount, and that'll be the kind of the tutorial for that. Uh, if you do have a physical CD, um, you can do the intro CD-ROM, and it'll tell you how to mount that so you can actually get to it. But um, we need to mount these files right here, so I'll type intro mount, and this is going to tell me how to mount these files. So it says I need to type uh, mount C as the command and the the uh, file the, the the path to uh, get there. So this right now is saved on my desktop. So I'll type mount C. It's on my C drive. Uh, it's under users root because I'm funny desktop and let's see. It's called BTP seven one underscore one dos. Uh, fun fact, uh, this DOS is not uh, case sensitive, so there you go. Anyways, um, it'll say drive C is mounted, or whatever you call it, the drive. And now we just need to navigate it to switch drives in DOS. It is just the drive letter, and then a colon, and you can do a slash as well, but it doesn't matter. And right now, I am at the top of the C drive, and I, I specified that the top of the C drive is going to be this folder right here. So even though it doesn't say it, I'm in this folder. And you can type directory, and that lists all the contents of the directory. So I need to run the install application, and so it's just right here, install exe. Um, if if you do need do, do do need to install, which a lot of them probably need to be installed, uh, you're, there's going to be like a file probably called auto run or you know, install. It's going to be an exe file. Um, just look for that, and you know if you're not sure, just you know, try around. Anyways, I know that I need to do my uh, install.exe, so I'll just go ahead and type that and it'll bring me into the installer. Um, you know, if you're not installing Turbo Pascal specifically, you don't really need to pay attention to this. I'll just basically click through it. Uh, install to hard drive, not to floppy disk. And the only thing I need to pay attention to is where I'm installing it to, or where I'm installing my IDE to. Or, anyways, it's uh, to TP bin. Um, so, start installation. It's gonna take a little bit of time. I don't really have anything to say at this point. Um, the installation is totally done. I mean, this is that's really all there is to it. Uh, you're just going to need to navigate to the folder where you installed it and just you know run the application. Um, I will go to it right after and show you it actually running. I'll maybe see if I can try and uh, write a program in Turbo Pascal, but I don't think I remember the syntax. All right, perfect. Turbo Pascal seven installation is now complete. Blah 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 blah. Uh, I hope that's not important. Uh, the readme file pops up. This readme contains important information. Alright. 
hope I hope it didn't contain anything that was that important. Anyway, so uh, to navigate, you're gonna navigate to your um, your wherever you installed it. So CD change directory, TP is what it was called, and change again change directory again to binary. Um, check what's in here with directory that'll list the contents of the directory, and the actual application is called turbo.exe. So just type that. And boom shakalaka, we have Turbo Pascal. Uh, not that exciting, but anyways. Uh, this is basically it. Uh, I have no I no I don't really remember how to type a um, a Turbo Pascal program. Um, program test uses when CRT begin. Uh, it's something along these lines. I have no idea if this is gonna even work, but the point is, uh, the point is, I, I got a program to run in um, this uh, virtual machine, this DOSBox, uh, and it's gonna work with anything, um, any any of these older programs. Uh, it's gonna be essentially the same installation uh, process. Let, let me just see if this works. I'm curious. I really don't think it's gonna. Uh, I, I need a semicolon somewhere. Well, I'm gonna keep uh, try debugging this program because uh, I have I have a real desire to to write a, uh, a hello world hello world program. But um, yeah, that, that was basically it. Uh, I'll just say uh, Deadbeat Devs uh, signing off. If you have any questions, just post them down below. I'll get to you. All right, super exciting here, guys. Um, got the program to work. I I looked at that uh little program I brought up in the beginning, and I, I made a nice little hello world program. So uh. Here it is, we're just gonna go ahead and save it and run it. Ah, oh, look at that. Warms my heart.